In this video, I'm going to do a bit of a deeper dive on conditional formatting. I've made a couple of videos related to it and that go into this point a bit, but I wanted to go a little bit deeper and have one video that's specifically about this point. Conditional formatting means depending on the value of a cell, the format can change. So for example, in one of these cells, if you wanted whenever this cell says 00 to review, the background color, for example, to change to red, let's say, you can do that. You can have it automatically format itself based on the content of the cell. And in some cases, you actually want the whole row to change color based on the value of just this cell. So I'm going to do that today. This should be pretty quick, and but it's pretty powerful. It's a good way to have data stand out in a certain way and formatting of the data is really important to help people understand the story that you're telling. So what I'm going to do is highlight the area that I want the conditional formatting to apply to. So in this case, it's from cell A6 down to D25. I'm just gonna add it now in case we add more data later. You obviously could just do this section if you wanted to. So then I'm going to go to format, conditional formatting. And here's where I'm going to apply the rule. So you can see apply to range A6 to D25 is correct. I can always change that if I want to. You can do some very simple stuff. I'm going to do a little more complicated one based on searching this column, the status column, for certain text. So you can always just do simple things like if it's empty, if it's not empty, if the text contains something, things like that. And those work fine. But you also can also do custom formulas. So in this case, I'm going to do a custom formula just as an example of how it works. So what I'm going to say is that the custom formula is, so you start with equals, and then you say find, if you want to find certain text in the cell, and then you just say what you want to find in quotes. So you can see, in this case, I'm trying to find zero, zero. And this is important, so you put a dollar sign in front of the column because you want, for this entire row, the only column that matters is column B. You don't put a dollar sign in front of six because you want that actually to move down by row. So you want this row, for example, the formatting of this row to depend on this cell. So no matter, like I said, when you're going down, you always want column B, but for the row, you want it to change as the formula goes down. And then you can change the color here. Let's say you want it to be red. Let's say red, this is a little bit too bright. So you can make it a custom color. There we go. And you can click done. And so that's it. Now, if you wanted to add more, you can just open it and then click add another rule. It will duplicate the one you currently have. And you can just change the 0, 0 to 98, for example. You can change the color to blue. And there you go. So pretty powerful, pretty good tool. There's a bunch of ways to do it. This is a little overcomplicated. You probably could also just do, for example, if we did add another rule and we did text contains and we did then 0, 1. You can see that works too, but the difference is this only works on those cells, right? So if you want the whole row, you have to do it the way I did it with that formula, with the dollar signs and the full formula written out. But if you just wanted that cell, you can always just do it like this. So you'll see, there you go. So you can do text contains, but if you really want it to do the whole row, you can't. So there you can see R3. And if you wanted to then change the priority, if these had overlapping formulas. So let's say that the cell could have more than one thing that is, is satisfied by a formula. You can change the order of these and drag them down and up. So see right here that, so it's not going to change anything in this case because there's no overlap. But if, for example, this red one, instead of zero, zero, it had not. So now what you can see, this not would trigger based on row seven, but so is this. But this blue one's a higher priority. If I change it, it changes to red. So that's just a little bit tip. If you ever do have to do that, these are obviously more complicated examples, but also pretty powerful tools and should give you the ability to make your data look the way you want it to look. That's it. Enjoy.